Welcome to Pro Fabrication. My name is Steve Salisbury and we're here to talk about bends and the components that you may use in header building. Some of the bends here I have on the table. I have quite a few different bends here. Uh, most of them are stainless that you're looking at here today. Some of them are mild steel. This is a mild steel 16 gauge bend. We have mild steel available in 16 gauge and 18 gauge materials. All of our bends are mandrel bent. And as, you, uh, as you're beginning uh, a header project, the first thing that you need to do is determine what materials you may want to use. Uh, mild steel is going to be your most cost effective, but the, it, when you are talking about a custom built header, the majority of your cost in a custom built header is going to be in the labor. So unless you're doing this project yourself, for yourself, then uh, stainless is your best material to use. Not only do you have a longer life, uh, longer length, uh, longevity header, but you also have a better performing header as well. And all those things need to be weighed into your decision as you uh, begin this project. Different types of uh, stainless. You have 304 stainless that you can use and 321 stainless that you can use. If you are building a street rod or a hot rod, uh, 304 is more than adequate and uh, you can utilize that in 065 wall material, 16 gauge material, or 18 gauge material. Today I want to show you how to measure a U-bend. It's very important that when you call up and order bends that you know exactly what center line radius you're looking for. Center line radius is the center line which the tube was bent at. And that center line on a U-bend is very easy to measure. Um, you can simply put the tape about in the center and go to the center, that's five inches. Or you can hook the tape measure on the one side and measure to the inside leg on the other one. That measures five inches. This bend is a two and a half inch center line radius. Let me repeat that. You need to take that five inch number that you've measured and divide it by two. That is the center line radius. And that is kind of measured, that is measured this way. There is a a bend die that we wrap this around. So a two and a half inch center line radius. This bend is a four inch center line radius. And this bend is a six inch center line radius. So you get an idea of a tight radius bend versus a big radius bend. That's how a lot of people reference uh, what they're looking for, but we need to know exactly what you're looking for. So, some other tools that we will utilize here to measure or spec out the bends that we're looking for for our custom header project. We need to know the wall thickness. You can use a dial caliper to measure the wall thickness. That measures 062. That is a 16 gauge material. This measures 045. That would be considered an 18 gauge material. Another piece of equipment that we can use to measure is a micrometer. The important thing on a micrometer is that you have a special micrometer that has a ball on the bottom side. If you use a standard micrometer that has a, a flat anvil um, on it, uh, you cannot accurately measure that too. Here we have a piece of tubing and we can simply measure that and that tube there measures 35 thousandths wall or 20 gauge material. So we've gone over a couple ways, a couple things that we need to know when measuring uh, a bend. The other thing that we might ask you is what kind of leg length do you want? That leg length is the straight section that's from the tangent of the bend to the end. Um, in this case, we've got approximately six inches of leg length. This bend here has approximately eight inches of leg length. These are all important things when you're calling to order your components for your custom header. The other important bit of information that we need is we need to know the degree of bend, how far that is bent. Now, in the bending world of tubing, this is considered a 180 degree bend. 
some people would refer to this this desktop as 180 degrees but in bending world this is a 180 degree bend this would be considered a 90 degree bend this while I don't have a uh, protractor here to tell you exactly what that is is approximately 120 degree bend as we bend tighter and tighter center line radiuses, center line radii, you may not be able to get a 180 degree bend in this diameter with this wall thickness. You may be limited to, on a tight radius bend, only a 120 degree bend or 140 degree bend. So we discussed a little bit about how to measure a bend here today. The other uh, bit of information you need to know is what material we're gonna pick. Are we going to pick mild steel? Are we going to pick stainless? We have two stainless materials to choose from. That is 304 material or 321 material. 304 material is a great choice for a street rod application, drag race application, light duty application. Anything that uh, weight is becoming a more and more critical, you may want to go to a 321 material because as we consider weight, we want to reduce the wall thickness. As we reduce the wall thickness, the integrity of the material becomes more important. Also, the, uh, you may be uh, getting into applications where durability uh, is more important. Uh, you may have uh, some, something that's running an endurance race. You may have something that's running 500 miles. Or you may have a product that you want to last a long time. So, um, the other material is Inconel. Now, many people do not know what Inconel is. Inconel is an exotic alloy. Uh, considered an exo exotic alloy, it is more expensive. But one of the advantages of an Inconel alloy, Inconel alloy 625 or 718, uh, we, we uh, carry 625 material here, is that it can withstand higher heat temperatures up to 2800 degrees. This is used in uh, extreme duty normally aspirated such as a NASCAR Cup Series uh, type header. Uh, it may be used in Formula One. Uh, it is used uh, a lot in uh, turbo applications, 24 hour racing. Uh, the list kind of goes on there. It is an ideal choice for that application. One of the reasons that we can save weight in a, using Inconel or some of these others is by reducing wall thickness. We can build a system out of 28 thousandths material uh, when we use this exotic alloy. So we've covered here mostly mandrel bent pieces. Uh, some of the things that are unique to prefabrication. We make some of our own tubing. So a wall thickness uh, in a given diameter is accessible or that is something that you can get here. This is a two and three quarter diameter. We can measure that OD utilizing a caliper as I demonstrated earlier. This is a two and three quarter OD. This is a 35 thousandths wall piece of tubing and this is bent on one times diameter or a two and three quarter center line radius. So it's a two and three quarter diameter bent on a two and three quarter center line radius. This is unique in the industry. You will have a hard time finding this anywhere but prefabrication. Should your application uh, require something like this, this is where we are very strong within this industry. Some of the things to look for in a bend. This bend uh, is a part that uh, uh, that we have that we have here. Uh, you, if you notice, all of our bends are wrinkle-free. The diameter changes very little to nothing within the bend. You can see it is round. We can take a dial caliper and we can measure it. In the straight section, this measures 1.860. In the bend, it measures 
1.865. You should anticipate some reduction in the bend, but 10 thousandths is more than acceptable in this industry. As you get into a tighter bend, this bend is 1.750. You are going to experience some reduction. You're 1.730, so this is reduced 20 thousandths. But you look at that bend, there are no wrinkles in it. That is a quality bend. This bend, you can see, has a slight wrinkle. If you look at it on this side, there's, it looks very good. On this side, there's just a little hint of a wrinkle right there. So you're looking for wrinkle-free bends, or as wrinkle-free as possible. Some of the other uh, the things that are unique at Pro Fabrication is a large diameter, five inch, is what we have here in our hand today. And this is bent on a five and a quarter center line radius. It is basically a 1D bend. This bend is the same bend. This material is 16 gauge 304 material. Just to show you and confirm that, we'll put the mic on it. So 65. This bend is 030 wall material. So customers that are buying this particular bend are very weight conscious. We use this primarily in drag race applications, uh, but this bend could not be bent on a standard bending, mandrel bending machine. This bend is actually stamped. We stamped two halves and then welded them together and produced a bend that is uh, acceptable to that industry. Why do we have different bend center line radiuses here at Pro Fabrication? Uh, this makes your header building job easier. Uh, it does this in a bunch of ways. A tight radius bend is not something I would typically use coming out of a port, but you may have a steering shaft, you may have a control arm, you may have something in the way that you have got to come around. Use the tight radius bend. It's always better to use a tight radius bend coming out of a port and cutting it perpendicular to tangent and having it come out of that port nicely rather than utilizing a large radius bend and putting it on your flange like that. You want to come out of the port with as smooth a, smooth a radius as possible. The other reason that we utilize different center line radius bends is to nest, nest the parts together. You can see here that these two bends nest together nicely on the table. But here it is utilized in application on a header. You can see we have a tight radius bend here and we have a larger radius here. Most headers are built with inch and three quarter to two and an eighth diameter primary tubes. Given that criteria, that diameter, a three inch center line radius will nest very nicely inside of a five inch center line radius. A four inch center line radius, which is what this U-bend is right here, will nest nicely in a six inch center line radius. So keep those things in mind. It is diameter specific. So a one inch diameter bend on a two inch center line radius would not fit well in a six inch center line radius. It would not nest well. But given that most headers are made from inch and three quarter to two and an eighth diameter, that's why I've mentioned that. You gotta just keep that ratio together. Here is an example of a header that we need a, needed to utilize some tight radius spans. And you can see here 
that this port on this particular engine is actually coming out of the cylinder head at an angle. So we have made a flange that has that angle built into it. And you can see that the tube continues with the path of flow out of the cylinder head. This is another example of a header that we build here. This is for a rally car, normally aspirated engine. And this fits a, a Ford uh, Duratec engine. So these are your, used in the, the, the Fords that you see uh, by, driven by Ken Block and uh, many of the other people out there. What style of header is this, Steve? Uh, this is a tri -wide header. So we're utilizing uh, and we're pairing together four four tubes into two tubes into one tube. So this is called a 421 header or a tri y header. This is the most popular design for a normally aspirated engine. It is not the only design. We can utilize a 4 into 1 header that's shown here. And this header, uh, coming back to the bends a little bit, you can see we use nice uh, flowing big radius bends. And you can see that this is a larger radii or radius tube than that one. So utilizing the different radiuses uh, just makes a, a, a nice aesthetic uh, looking header. It also allows you to get your lengths maybe a little more equal length. This particular header is a drag race application uh, utilizing nitrous and um, this header uh, is a nice looking header. You can see that that is uh, a very attractive header. Two and three eighths to two and a half. And this is uh, on a 742. 762 I believe it's for um, Jerry Bickle race cars. Here at Pro Fabrication we have 180 degree bends. We have 90 degree bends. We have 45 degree bends. We have them in 304 material. We have them in 321 material. We have them in mild steel. And we have them available in ink and Your first choice is pro fabrication for all your bend needs.